With the new features added to Windows 11, Microsoft has included several new keyboard shortcuts to its operating system, giving you quick access to its new features and functions, some of which are quite useful to save you time and give your mouse a much needed break. Let's get started. One of the most talked about new features in Windows 11 is their widgets panel. If using your mouse, you'll find the icon in the taskbar to open it. Here you can check the weather, search the web, read the latest news stories, and a whole lot more. Let's close it out. To quickly open it with the keyboard shortcut, hold down the Windows key and W key. Once opened, hitting the tab key will skip to the next section, and using your arrow keys, you can navigate through each section. In the latest version of Windows, its new interface is done away with the Action Center from Windows 10 that showed you your quick settings, calendar, and notifications all in one overlay. Now they have two separate overlays. In quick settings, you can turn items like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Nightlight on or off, and you can also adjust the volume of your speakers. To use the keyboard command to open quick settings, hold down the Windows key and A key. To the right of Quick Settings is your Calendar and Notifications. To open your Calendar and Notifications with a keyboard shortcut, hold down the Windows key and N key. You'll see the notifications at the top if you have any, with the calendar below it. A keyboard shortcut that's been around for a while is the ability to snap windows on your screen using the Windows key and arrow keys to move them to the left and to the right, full screen, and minimize. New in Windows 11, you can now snap any active window to the top half or bottom half of your screen. To snap the active window to the top half of your screen, hold down the Windows, Alt, and Up arrow keys. To snap the active window to the bottom half of your screen, hold down the Windows, Alt, and Down arrow keys. After moving the windows to the top or the bottom half and releasing the shortcut keys, use the left and right arrow keys to navigate your open windows. Then hit the Enter key to have that window fill the other half of the screen. Snap Layouts is one of our favorite new features. It's great for multitasking if you only have one monitor. This feature can be accessed without using a keyboard command by hovering the mouse cursor over the Maximize button of any open window. You have six layouts to choose from. To activate a layout, click on a zone in the layout, and then use Snap Assist to select other windows to fill out the entire layout. To use Snap Layouts with the keyboard shortcut, hold down the Windows key and Z key. When you release the shortcut keys, you'll see the layouts in the upper right. Use the arrow keys to select a zone within one of the layouts, and hit Enter on your keyboard. With Snap Assist for the remaining zones, use your arrow keys to navigate the open windows, and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to select a window for that zone. Repeat the steps for the remaining zones. If you want to mirror what is currently on your screen to another display like your TV, open Quick Connect with the Windows key and K key. Both devices will need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Use the Tab key to go to the available devices, and when you get to it, press the Enter key for the device you want to cast to, and follow the instructions on the other display. Just like their Edge browser, Microsoft is hyper-aggressive in trying to get people to use their collaboration app, Microsoft Teams. To quickly open the chat feature of Teams for personal accounts only, hold down the Windows key and C key. Sorry Microsoft, I'm a slacker and don't use Teams. If you have a Microsoft Teams personal account, opening this would let you quickly start a chat or video call with family and friends. Microsoft, as usual, having branding issues. This version of chat is not for work purposes, but still calls it Microsoft Teams Chat. Really, this is not a joke. I wish I was kidding. This bonus keyboard command to launch voice typing is not new, but I want to show it to you because its functionality has improved quite a bit in Windows 11. The keyboard shortcut to use it is the Windows key and H key. Using the shortcut will both start the recording and stop it. Here's a quick example. Voice typing can be used in any window with a text field and is a handy feature for those with accessibility issues. Period. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments which of these new keyboard shortcuts are your favorites and if you plan to use them. 
If you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when we upload a new video about Windows 11, along with other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.